Hi, I'm Delta George, Ag and Natural Resource Extension Agent for Bourbon County, and welcome to K-State Research and Extension's YouTube page. We hope you find these video segments both useful and valuable to your operation. Being a native of Southeast Kansas, I know firsthand how valuable fescue can be to our stalker operations and our cow-calf producer. In our area of Kansas, we have the longest growing season and the highest rate of precipitation. We can graze fescue during April, May, and June, and again in the fall with proper fertilization. It is also the best adapted cool season grass for our winter use. In the late 1970s, it was discovered that cattle showing poor performance and toxosis symptoms were grazing infected tall fescue. Cattle grazing on infected pastures may show one or more clinical signs such as decreased feed intake, decreased daily gains, lower milking ability, poor reproductive performance, necrosis of hooves and tail, a rough head coat, and additional time spent in water and shady areas. Mares can be infected by the toxins in infected fescue as well. Research has shown that longer gestation periods and increased foaling problems are associated with grazing endophyte infected fescue. The fungus is found in the crowns of the plants during the winter and slowly grows up the stem and eventually makes it to the seed head during the summer. There is little to no fungus found in the leaves itself. In Kansas, approximately 95% of our pastures are infected at an average rate of 64% infection. The Kansas State Plant Pathology Lab began testing for the presence of endophyte in 1984 and continues to do so for Kansas fields for $20. Other states need to check with their local extension office for lab availability and costs. Depending on the time of year, tillers, seed heads, or seed may be tested. However, the KSU lab prefers seed heads with a stem. When sampling tillers, a sample should include 50 tillers collected randomly throughout each sample unit. Testing of seed heads may be done during or after joining. The endophyte is found in the pith, making the testing easy. To do this, collect 50 random samples from base of the plant to the seed head. If there's any excess roots or soil, that may be discarded. Once you have 50 random samples collected, place in a plastic bag and gently fold. Do not take more than one tiller from each plant. Tillers may be sampled throughout the growing season with best results in May through June or September through November. Management practices of endophyte infected pastures can help improve animal performance. Adding legumes to an infected pasture will reduce the level of toxins adjusted due to the additional forage source. Legumes also have a higher crude protein level and are more digestible than fescue, resulting in an increased performance level. For more information on fescue endophyte, contact your local extension office. Thank you for your time today and feel free to look around our site for other educational videos which you might find helpful.